what is up, Buttercups? It's Amy and Jared. Jared Love. How are you this morning? How are you this morning? Dark. Hi, did you sleep good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a good day in school today? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get another kiss? Mm -hmm. Yes, so little boy getting ready for his school day. Mama is not working today. And ironically, I'm supposed to work Wednesday and Thursday. Well, I don't think Wednesday is going to happen according to this weather report. We're supposed to now, it's saying anywhere from uh, four to eight inches now. So at least the amounts are getting a little less. Hopefully it'll stick, it'll get a little lower than that, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so we're packed up, ready to go to school. We got our meds in us, we got our bags packed up and all that great stuff. And, uh, as far as mama today, don't pick baby. He's starting to pick a little scab on his face. Um, yeah, today, like, is it going to be necessarily a work day? But definitely it's going to be a prep day, just in case. Um, I, I'm okay on my basics as far as food goes, my milk and all that great stuff. I need to go get more water. Our water, is, I didn't realize it was getting so low. So I got to go get more water and... I want to pick up some more cheese because Mr. Man's going to have his grilled cheese usually. Um, yeah, so we got to do all that. Plus, got a message from my buddy Tug. He got his appointment rescheduled for today at 10.15. So I told him I definitely would take him over since I didn't get a chance to the week before with all the weather anomaly going on. So uh, going to do that today. Hit the store real quick. Might even pick him up from school, depending, because they're talking about some of this weather starting, like, around, like, noon, 1 o'clock. So, you know, if the weather starts getting ugly or whatever, I might just go pick him up, you know, when I'm done food shopping and whatnot. Make life easier and I have to make him wait on the bus and all that great stuff. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, other than that, we'll see the rest of the day takes us. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm like half asleep. I don't like, know what my problem is today. I actually got to bed a decent hour last night. I should have be like, wide awake, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to get this day started, and we'll see y'all in a little while. Hey, guys. Alrighty. Ooh, it's cold. It's definitely a lot colder out than it was yesterday. You can definitely feel that. So... What the heck is he doing? Man, this guy. I'm all nosy. He's got this big old slide of wood and he's walking down my courtyard. I don't know what he's doing. Very strange. Well, ain't from my house, so I'm not worried. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is noticeably colder. The big skies are getting. A little on the pissy looking side like they're really not happy so I'm betting the snow situation is most definitely going to uh, hit us and probably hit us hard because I don't know if anyone else knows this but like usually like when the skies get almost all white but it's not it's like that calm you know it's kind of weird so uh, yeah I'm actually freezing right now holy cannolis so I think I'm going to stop and get me some coffee before I do anything. Get some coffee and we're on our way to go pick up Mr. Joe take him to his leg doctor. So. Uh, at least it's not far his doctor's office or anything like that, which is nice. So, uh, I just feel bad that his legs are bad again. Ugh. Oh man, he needs to start taking better care of himself, damn it. So, uh. Alright, yeah, so we're getting my coffee, and then we're heading to Tugboats. Well, that just peeved me a little bit. I sit there, I, I, only, I only use the Dunkin' Donuts application, like, to the order-to-go stuff, like, when I'm kind of rushing a little bit. Because I actually have, like, Dunkin' Donuts coupons I could be using. And, like, I ordered... Like, before I got there, like, a good 10 minutes before I got there, I get there, and they still didn't have my order right, and then took two people in line before they even filled my order. I'm like, really? 
And there wasn't even anybody really in there. There was like literally two people in there. I'm just like, ugh. Little stuff frustrates me, you know? So, yeah, heading to Tuggies now. Got my coffee. Oh boy. Well, it already looks like uh, some parts of the area are going to have some electrical problems coming up. Oh, that's a good sign when the electric guys are out before the storm hits. That's just not a good sign at all. Uh, actually, no, it is not. It is not the electric company. It is Verizon. It is, yeah. I guess one of their power, one of their phone line, main lines or whatever are down. Uh, oh, that reminds me, I gotta go to Walgreens. <laughs> That's where I gotta get my scripts and everything. I have a couple scripts over there I gotta get filled and all that, so. Oh boy, and here comes some more stuff. These guys, they're still Verizon? No, they're tree trimming service. Apshaw or something like they're called. Um, that's like our local government tree contracted place that, you know, they take care of all the trees that are covered by the regular government rather than private property. So, um, yeah, they're out trimming branches. I guess they want to get all these branches out of the way before this next storm hits. Look, but they got a lot of work to do. They still ain't cleaned up from last time, so. Hey, guys. All right. So, Tuggy's at the doctor's. I got to go pick him back up. I just dropped him off so he can do what he's got to do, and then I came over to Staples. I had um, $14 in rewards that I could eat too, so I finally bought myself a well-deserved new mouse, because my laptop mouse that I have is shot, I guess. So I had uh, $14, I said, what the heck, and they had their mice on sale, same type of mice too, the, the optic ones I like, and uh, yeah, it was only like $12.99, so I'm like, all right. So I got that, myself a bag of candy, and uh, and I got another toy. I got actually a tripod for my phone, which is actually kind of cool. It, it was only like five bucks, so I'll have to do an unboxing for you later. So give me some kind of content on this darn channel. So um, yep, we're heading out now, going to pick up Mr. Tuggy Tug, and Tuggy wants to go to breakfast, so is taking me to breakfast so other than that we're gonna have a very calm day hopefully school call the um the weather thing i guess whatever they wanted to reiterate that the kids were having a full day today i mean nothing started yet no rain no nothing a little windy breezy here and there but nothing spectacular yet um but they haven't mentioned anything for tomorrow yet but when they the recorded message says just letting you know that you know the school's gonna be letting out regular time but all the afternoon and evening events are canceled which includes like a lot of the sports night stuff and all that that they usually do this time of year so I think they are bearing down for for to get hit big time so hey guys well I'm here with Mr. Tugboat we just went to breakfast to Denny's and now we're here at the hospital getting him his chest x-ray. You alright there? Yeah. I think. Uh oh, where is he? Uh oh, what did you lose? waiting for uh, Mr. Tugboat to get finished up doing his x-ray so we can get him home and I can get home for Jude. But yeah, I thought this was very cool. Our local hospital where he has to get his chest x-ray. They have a player piano. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, well, Mr. Tuggy's done. He is slowly making his way up the steps. I'm very worried about him. Like, he's not health-wise doing really good at all. He doesn't have a CPAP machine. And he's having, like, breathing problems and everything else. And yeah, hopefully that'll all clear up for him soon, I'm hoping. Um, debating, it's like 20 of. I've got like 10 minutes. I'm thinking I might go and pick J Doggy up from school because it's getting nasty. Like we're we have hail right now. Like it's sleeting. The roads are not slippery yet, but when the road when it gets like this, I I'm kind of nerved about him taking the bus. It, I don't know why. It just I know it's probably an unfounded fear. I'm sure, but it's just my own thing. I'd rather go and pick them up myself rather than have them take a bus home when it's this kind of weather. Because, you know, like weird stuff happens, you know, and you're, at a, you're on a big old bus and it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking out behind me. So, uh, yeah, I think I am. I think I'm probably going to go pick him up. Hey, guys. Well, I made it to school. I'm here to pick up a little boo I'm just waiting for him to come out. Look at this thing. It is like sleeting out. The the ice is actually bouncing off of my windows. And, uh, yeah, that's not a great way to start a snowstorm when you got bouncing ice. I'll just say that. But, yeah, I'll be glad to get home in my nice warm place and curl up under some blankets and warm up. <sighs> I just pray to God we do not lose electric. I do not want to lose electric again. Because that is just going to be out and out ugly. So, yep, yeah, just gonna wait for Mr. Boobido. Hey guys, it is Amy and who else? Jared. Is Jared. That's not. We're coming to you nap. on a Tuesday afternoon, and nap, nap. I don't know why, but when I got there, one of the aides came running out, Dave. talking about he was having a meltdown of a century in the classroom for whatever reason. Uh, so we ran in. We ran in and, you know, he was in the middle of just screaming and crying and throwing stuff. And no, you thought, there was like five, six people nice sitting there trying to kind of like control him. And right there. right there, I'm going to tell you right now, that is not going to be the resolution. Because they had like six people sitting there, like hovered around him and circled around him. I mean, I understand the protocol for it. They wanted to try to keep it as safe as possible and whatever. But... Yeah. I think it was freaking him out even more, having so many people standing there surrounding him. I think that just wigged him out even more. But, uh, yeah, so it's been definitely, it's going to be one of the afternoons, I think. I don't know. I feel bad for him. I, I trying to figure out what, what he was crying about. I have no idea. Have no idea what started it. What's wrong with this at? The only one in it. So... <sighs> Better get home and get ourselves situated. Hey, what is up, Buttercups? It's Amy and Jared. Jared. How do you say, Jay? Say hi. 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 Yeah, so it is Tuesday night. The weather is definitely starting to kick in. Our roads and stuff are slathered in slush ice. Freezing rain and all that great stuff. The snow part has not even started yet. Oh, wow. Look how white my teeth look. <laughs> look at mommy's teeth. Smile. You got really light teeth. <laughs> I'll tell you, this light really makes a world of difference. It really does. Uh, yeah, so... I went and picked little man up from school today. After we got done with Tuggy. Let me see your face. He, he accidentally got himself bleeding yeah. a little bit. Uh, Picking its scabs. And look at this. Oh, Yeah, you know, my, my selfie stick is starting to wear down a little. Look at this. Look at this fuzz right here. Little man needs a good shave. Him needs a shave. You know that? Yeah. So, anyhow. Yeah, I went to get pick him up from school, and funny enough, I went to pick him up, 
And here he was having all kinds of issues today, apparently. Um, actually, he didn't have issues until towards the end of the day. Um, I went and pulled in to go pick him up. They didn't even know I was picking him up. They just happened to see me and sent one of the aides out to say, come get me, you know. I go in and Jared's like surrounded by like seven adults like around his sitting at the desk and like they're all like just standing there glaring at him. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? And it was funny because as soon as I walked in, I said, Jared, he looked right at me and stopped. Like he stopped the instant meltdown as soon as he saw me. So I was like, okay, that's a little weird. So I'm not sure exactly what transpired, but according to them, all that was happening was that they were making popcorn and he just started having a meltdown. Just that doesn't make any sense. So I'm not really sure what's going on and what happened. And meanwhile, Jeremy wants to do smiley faces. He's got faces he wants to show us. Look at these faces. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what the heck happened. All I know is that he was wigging out. So, as soon as I got there, though, what's so funny? As soon as I got there, though, he seemed to calm down. He's been great ever since. He did good tonight. Oh, what are you doing, Jared? You are so silly. You are so silly. You are a funny kid. This is my kid. This is how he is usually. He's goofy and funny. He's got a great personality on him. This is what I'm used to my little boy being like. Just like this. Nice and goofy and being a goofball. And being a goofy ball. <laughs> <laughs> you are too funny for your good. That's what I'm used to my little man being like. Just like this. Just nice and sweet and cute and just being Jared, right? right? Right. So, dude, since we had such a hard day, are you tired? How are you? How are you? So, what do we have to tell everybody? My thumb. A thumbs up. Like. A like. Surprise. Subscribe. Favorite. Favorite. Good job, buddy. And we have Miss Kitty down here that is sitting here trying to climb up on the bed, which she never does. I don't know what that was all about. So, uh, yeah, he's just enjoying making his faces. So, yeah, it's good. It was a long day, it so we're going to yeah. close out the vlog for the evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I know Mom's going to go to bed early. I'm just hoping the electric holds out and we're not going to have to deal with lights out again. So, other than that, well, you heard the little man. Like, subscribe, share, and all that great stuff, and I will catch y'all later. You looked at me and I'm done.